Okay, let's start for real. Hi guys, how are you doing? I hope you're all doing well, your families. I hope you're safe. I hope you're not going crazy. Um, so yeah, I just hope you're all okay. So I just thought I would come on here and share my thoughts on what's happening with the whole COVID-19 around the world. Um, and again, like this channel, because we're about business, um, how it's affecting guys in business. So I just wanted to come on here and share some of the things that I am doing and that we can all be doing for those who own businesses, what we can be doing at this time as we wait for things to settle down. So first of all, I think that despite how negative um, this whole situation is, from a business point of view, yes, it's not good because we're not making money, you know, your customers aren't safe, no one is spending, businesses are literally shut down, countries on lockdown, so it's not really good. But on the positive side of things, I think that it's such a good time for you as an entrepreneur to just step back and look at your business. And so this is my local supermarket. So there's there's a queue. So you see these orange things here? Everyone stands at one meter and we all enter one by one. There you go. So I just realized that I lost all my footage. So doing take two um, in the car. <laughs> just come from shopping. So um, yeah, so everything with everything that's happening, it's not. It's a good time to review your business. So yeah, what I'm doing is that every day I'm picking one area of business and then. So if it's like marketing, I look at, so how can I do my marketing better? Um, how do I communicate with my customers now that they're not, I can't meet them and things like that. If it's, how do I, if business strategy, business planning, how do I deal with disruption in my business? Because next time, God forbid, it may not be a pandemic, but it will be something. It could be a competitor who comes up with something that threatens my business survival so in so it's really making me think about like innovation in the business what can we do for customers and also just forcing me to think about how can the business still run without me having any contact with my customers so i feel like that's like the one major awesome thing that this whole covid situation has brought about that it's gonna force a lot of businesses to actually seriously consider innovation now and not just as something you say but now practically um in terms of how how you're gonna speak to your customers if you could not meet them if they could not see you um so yeah that's that's one of the things we're doing um for a lot of businesses um they've really been taking digital um as a joke it's been yeah on social media but you know you're, you're not consistent online and a lot of businesses haven't thought about like the actual you know what's your what's your strategy for digital when and that's my line of business um i'll put in a link for my company so this is like some of the stuff that we help companies do so when i think about the conversations we've, la we've had over the last four years with businesses in terms of um yes you're an it company yes you sell software um yes you're in the hotel business you know but a lot of businesses haven't taken digital seriously and i feel like um with this whole situation a lot of businesses naturally need to sit down and be like okay so we actually need to get on this thing so my advice is just start somewhere start now if you don't have pages set them up you know, go back to that website of, of yours. One of the things that I'm always saying when it comes to websites and things like that is a website isn't just a place you come and, you know, throw in an about us section. Your website should be able to convert for you. So I feel like that's one of the things that as business people are thinking about now, you know, in terms of I've always had a website that is just so informational. It's not practical. 
even though you're in e-commerce. Um, so yeah, things like that, digital as a whole, you know, how people are using the internet a lot. What is our, what is our SEO like? What's our um, SEM like? So yeah, I think it's a good time to review your digital assets, review your business as a whole in terms of in the next, because I feel like this situation is just a reflection of where businesses are going to have to be in the next maybe 10, 20 years. Right now, yes, we're being forced to work from home. We're being forced not to go to the office or being forced not to meet clients because of the situation. But 10, 20 years from now, work culture changed. People are going to be working from home more than they're at the office. Customers are going to be purchasing more than they are on ground, like walking into shops. Um, delivery, distribution is going to be happening way differently than it is now. So I feel like this is just, I feel like it's, it's not a great situation, but it's a good situation to make us think. So in terms of um, meetings and all of that, there are really some great apps out there that you can still use to communicate. Um, so, so far, I've held meetings on Ring Central, but that's for um, outside the country. It's more popular there. I've been using Zoom a lot, which I know is popular here. Um, I've been using, what is the other one called? Meet. I think that's a Google platform or something like that. I think it's the old Hangout. Um, you can also do conference calls on WhatsApp. You can do, I mean, most social media platforms, by the way, have um like calling calling messaging features and all of that so really um as much as we have to be to be home and all of that you can still communicate if you're i mean don't say just because you know we're going through something uh business has stopped business stops when you stop so reach out to your clients imagine they're also in the house this is the perfect time in fact to talk to them to bring up some of the ideas that you've been trying to get across the table I mean, that's what I'm doing and it's successful because they have, people have time on their hands right now. So if it's a new idea, this is the time to propose it. This is the time to communicate with clients. You know, what's a business is a, is, um, is a feature I've not seen so many businesses utilizing is your business on WhatsApp. And I don't mean personal one, go and download WhatsApp business, communicate from there, set up your catalog. So there's a lot of things we can still do from home. Um, despite everything that's happening. But yeah, um, so just before I say bye, I thought I would also say in terms of um, business right now, also be very careful with the, with the kind of communication you're consuming. Um, right now, I know on WhatsApp, on social media, everywhere, on the news even, there's, you know, constant updates about what's happening, you know, all of that. Which is important, yeah, especially if you're in business and trying to figure out when things will restart. Yes, keep abreast with it, but also be picky with where you're getting information from and what kind of content it is. So I'm currently following um, a lot of like kind of the BBC stories that they're sharing. So that those I like. But another thing that I'm really enjoying at this time is there's a lot of stories that are coming up locally from Kenyan news sites um websites that is that are just showing some of like the innovative things that are happening um around the county in terms of people ideas that are coming up out of this situation um ideas around health and fixing our public health so i know i've seen one about you know the guy who's converting the drums into portable sinks and putting them in bus stops so it's just Innovation is still happening, ideas are still there. And so in terms of like just protect your mind, what you're consuming, where you're consuming it from, don't just read every single update that's happening about the virus. Also go and look at what are other people doing, what are other business people doing, what's happening in different counties. You know, some of us we've not even paid attention to counties outside of Nairobi and Mombasa. What are people doing in those counties in terms of fixing public health? What business ideas can come from there? So the, the number one thing in terms of an entrepreneur, I'll say, is protect your mind. Protect your mind during all of this and choose, instead of um, letting this thing overwhelm you and stress you out, choose to be positive about it and use this time to think. I am so sure, as in my business as an example, there's so many cool ideas we've already come up with that we're going to implement 
once this thing is over so be safe do everything that you're supposed to do keep your distance all of that but digital digital media is so i mean it's so huge the internet is huge there's a lot you can do there's a lot of great youtube content you can watch about business there are a lot of websites there's a lot of online courses you can take there's a lot you can do so choose to engage your mind positively thanks for watching man Thank you.